Hello guys, it's me again, Kill Switch from EOS 5 God's Raving. And today I will show you the Blade Master skill rotation for player versus player. So I am here with my wife again today. She will help me out for the tips and tricks. So let's start with the rotation. So first we will use void and then charge at the enemy we will use flash after using flash we will use our preferred x skill for me i am currently using royal fire for blade master after using royal fire use blossom dance after using blossom dance when counter wave is available I will use this next and then Sakura Slay and then Ephemeral Beauty. After that, we will go to the Odachi form. In player versus player, I am using Blizzard. So in Odachi form, first use round, Roundhouse Kill and then Azure Moon and then Diagonal Slash. And then Moon Shatterer. After using Moon Shatterer, we will charge. We will charge our normal attack, and then use the second skill, Diagonal Slash. After charging nor the normal attack, I will show you that trick in a while. So that trick is very useful in player versus player. So that's the whole rotation. For Demon Rage, only use this when you are dying. Do not use this when you are not dying because damage taken if you use this will be increased by 30%. Your P attack will be increased but your damage taken will be increased. So it is not worth it. You will die faster. So that's the whole rotation. I will show you that rotation slowly so void charge at the enemy this x skill second skill third skill when it is available and then first skill first skill and then go to dachi form first skill second skill and then second skill so i show you the i'll show you the charge trick Let's invite her to a duel. So, when the enemy is hitting you, use your third skill and then dodge. Charge your attack and then set and then use the skill and then hit the enemy with the second charge. Let's do that again. Use your third skill. Use dodge. And then charge up. Use second maneuver again. Then attack again for the second part of the charge attack. So one more time. Third skill. Dodge. So you can charge up. Third skill. And then charge attack so that's it that's the charge at attack trick you can also do this when using first skill ah wait you can also do this when you charge up and then first skill and then the second part of the charge attack but you need to do it fast. So first skill, charge up. Ah, wrong. So charge up. First skill, and then the second part of the charge attack. You can also do this with the second skill. So charge up. 
second skill and then charge so this is very useful in player versus player especially the third skill combo you should do it the third skill and then dodge because if you move while you doing this the skill will be cancelled you won't activate the second part of the maneuver so that's it that's it for the player versus player rotation and one more thing if you are fighting 1v1 do not go to your odachi form unless you stun the enemy especially when they are range classes so only go to your odachi form when you have stunned them using this skill so using this counter wave so if you have successfully stunned them you can go to your odachi form because in odachi form it's very hard to hit the enemy if they always run away there's no charge attack here so if the and one more thing if the enemy is always kiting you the ones who always run hit and run use the hit and run tactics this will be very useful so charge them up second skill first skill and then if you have activated the body slam the skill again counter wave that's the only time you will go to your ordachi form and one more thing do not go to your ordachi form if you don't have void so check your void that it should be always up if uh, uh, void is already over then you should go back to your maito form as soon as possible so it's very deadly if you go to your dachi form without void so that's it for the player versus player rotation so let's test the duel with my friend zoi the pvp rotation he is currently top 5 in our server he has 330,021 rating and I have 371,532 so I have more rating than him but he is very good at playing blade master so let's see so let's invite him for a duel Okay, use void, charge to the enemy, second skill, first skill, first skill, your X skill. That you form. Third skill, dodge, charge, attack. Third skill, and then attack. Skill again, second skill. Let's go back to my two form. The void is over. Third skill, second skill, first skill, second skill, first skill. Touch that's your form. First skill, second skill, X when available. Third skill. And then dodge, charge up your attack, use second maneuver again, and then attack, first skill, second skill, void is over again, so back to my two form, void, charge, second skill, first skill, and then back. So use these skills whenever it is available. So that's it. Again, use Demon Rage like Zoe when you are dying. So you can have 10 more seconds to have a chance to do kill the enemy. So let's do that one more time. We should maintain 
void as much as possible not what I did so void third skill, x skill get out of his shield use our shield charge to the enemy, second skill, first skill Again, third skill, touch, charge at the enemy, the third skill again, and then second skill. the second attack charge. So my two form, void, third skill, second skill, first skill. Charge, third skill. First skill. Charge your attack again. Third skill. My two form. Always remember your void. So that's it. That's it for the player versus player blade master rotation. Again, thank you to Zoe for helping me out. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment down below. And do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time.